Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today I am doing a new style video. I have been wanting to do this video for a little while. I used to write a blog and I would do a post, a running series post called Get Her Look, where I would take a look of any kind, street style, celebrity, what have you, and I would pull all the pieces from the outfit and find either similar items or the actual item itself to shop it um, and then write a little spiel as to why it inspired me. I kind of like this idea a little bit better where we're doing it on YouTube because I'm pulling from what I already have. It's not in any way telling you to go and shop, which I kind of like a little bit better since we're all trying to shop less or like shop smart. So the way that I am finding these looks is on Pinterest. I will show you my Pinterest here. You can follow me on there. I pin a lot. I love Pinterest. It's like one of my favorite, favorite apps that's ever been created. It's basically how my brain works. It's exactly the way that I get my inspiration, just like in a new form, a new day, where I used to just flip through magazines and cut out pieces and make collages. Now I just look on Pinterest, I pin it to certain boards, and away we go with inspo. So now I have outfit inspo, which is my, oh, this is cool. I think they just updated the app. Um, so I've created a board called outfit inspo, which I will show you. And this is where I'm going to be getting the photos for this series is through Pinterest. Um, a lot of the time when I am in a slump or I'm just trying to figure out a certain item, like a white t-shirt, say I'm just like, ugh, I wear the same thing all the time, I want to kind of switch it up, I'll search white t-shirt street style or white t-shirt outfit ideas and then I'll pin what kind of inspires me to that and it really honestly helps me get dressed a lot of the time. So I wanted to make a video that helps you get dressed as well. So let's get started. Um, look number one. If I can, I will tell you who these people are, but with this one, I don't really know who a lot of them are. I tried to look, but they're all like inspo photos from blogs, so I don't know who these people are in the photo. Sadly, I can't credit them for their style, but it will be on the screen here. You will see this look. I think I have pretty much all of the pieces for this. I'm gonna do some denim. She has just like a very kind of straight leg cropped light wash denim for this look. So I'm going to do my Levi's wedgies. I think that that will work. And then she has a wrap top with really puffy sleeves. Perfect. Because I just picked up that crepe top at H&M that you've seen in a couple of videos. And I will put that with the look. I'll need a tank top under that because it's through and then she has like a slip-on kind of shoe that's brown um, very like menswear kind of workwear type of shoe like a loafer type but I don't have anything like that but I do have these Western booties that I just picked up from Value Village and I think will look really cute and it will kind of tone down the girliness of that shirt and make it a little bit more dressed down and kind of just a little bit more streetwear and wearable for myself. I don't think I would wear those shoes ever. That's in the photo. Not really my style. These are more my look. So I'm gonna go with that. So I think this is gonna work really well for that first look. I'm excited to see how it comes together and if I like the look. Okay, moving on to look two. We have Camille Cherrier. She is a amazing style blogger, um, fashion writer, you know, she's got her hands in everything. Um, amazing style, such an icon for me. So in this photo, she has on a silky kind of top. I don't have a top exactly like this, but I think I'm going to go with Hers is kind of yellow, so I think I'm going to go with this yellow snake print top and kind of make it look like hers and tie it at the waist. Her jeans are flared, but I don't have a pair of flared denim, so I'm going to go with the jeans that I had for that first look and pair it with this. And then for accessories, 
It looks like she's wearing really chunky gold earrings that have a little bit of detail, a white strappy shoe, um, Ray-Ban wafers, which is great because I just about sold those and now I think I'm back in love with them. And then a knit bag, of which I have a similar bag. So we're going to do this bag with that top and those jeans, these white strappy heels that I just got from H&M, which are going to come in quite handy and then I have these door knocker earrings that I got on a vintage trip recently which I'll link in the iCards above and then Ray-Bans so that will be look number two look three is actually why I was inspired to do this video in the first place um, I was inspired by the Doc Martens that I just got on a vintage trip and I was like okay this video is happening now. I'm just super inspired to like wear these shoes and I wanted to look up a couple of looks on Pinterest again and see how to pair these shoes because they are quite new to me and I, you know, got to figure it out. So I was inspired by all of this. Um, she's wearing navy pants and I was actually going to wear, I was thinking of doing these trousers that I have. They're by um, Cause. They're just like their simple classic trouser with, she has a v-neck black, it kind of looks silky but I don't have a silky top, but I do have this v-neck black top from The Gap, which is cotton, which I think will look super similar. And then she has a gold hoop, which I have, some gold hoops, and then she has like a straw bag on, I actually... I'm kicking myself in the butt now because I did see a bag like this at Value Village and I passed it up and I don't know why because it reminds me so much of my mother when I was younger. She wore these grass bags all the time. But we have our docks. Pop those on. And then similar to that bag, I have this vintage grass bag that I think I'm going to throw on. I think it'll look kind of nice with like a navy black duo situation. It's kind of like that weird contrast like this looks really put together and then putting on this casual kind of grass bag just really adds a cool element to the whole look which I really like and mixing black and navy is like one of my favorite things to do now I remember when I was younger and I wore navy shorts and a black tank top at camp and this girl was like what are you doing and I was like maybe 12 and she was like what are you wearing why are you wearing navy and black together you look like a bruise and it just like traumatized me but now I am such a fan of navy and black together, so poop to you, girlfriend, uh, from camp years ago. That scarred me for life. Um, and if those trousers don't work, if those navy blue trousers don't work, I'm going to try these navy blue linen pants that are from Joe Fresh. That I was actually going to sell my Poshmark, but I pulled them out of the pile and I kind of like them again. That's going to be look three. And... I hope that one works out. I'm really, really inspired by this look. And this is what started it all. So I hope that works out. The last look is very like beachy, very much what I would wear on a vacation probably. It looks like she's wearing a heel, but I don't have a heeled strappy sandal like that. I mean, I could use the H&M ones, but I think I want to try the ones I just got at the vintage store. So I'm going to go with these flat ones that tie around the ankle. We're gonna try those out. She is again also wearing the Ray-Ban Wayfarers, so we will wear those. She has a linen short on. It looks kinda white, but I don't have that, so we're gonna go with these beige ones from H&M. These are quite new-ish to the shop, so I'm sure you can still find those either in-store or online. I really, really wish that I had this size of billowiness of a button down but I don't um this is probably a men's button down it looks really large like this looks like an extra extra large um for her frame I could do two things I could try this one which is a large men's striped button down could work could look kind of cool or I have this button down from Joe Fresh from years ago which was called the boyfriend fit at the time so it's a little bit of that oversized feel but just not as big as hers will be um, but yeah maybe we'll try 
both, then we'll see what one looks better, and then you'll see which one I picked. Um, and for bag, I would love to have this Louis bucket bag, but I do not. So maybe keeping it with a beachy theme, and to keep it simple, we'll just do this grass bag. Kind of fits the colorway that's going on. All right, those are the four looks. That's what I got out of my closet. Hopefully that works, and let's try them on. I do just have to point out that I probably look a little different, the room might look a little different, the lighting is a little different. I have to film the second half of this video after work because I have a normal job um, and that's how life works. So this video could look a little different but I'm going to do the looks now. I'm just filming the looks separately. This is look one. I'm going to put the shoes on. I think I did pretty good. This is definitely a look that I could see myself wearing out to dinner, like hanging with the girls, super casual, has a little bit of trendiness with the sleeve, but I still feel very like not overdone. I feel good in this outfit, I feel comfortable. This will be like a good transition outfit I think for end of summer and into the fall. Um, it's been actually getting pretty chilly at night, so this would be an okay outfit, I think. If it was too chilly, I don't know how well these sleeves are going to tuck under a jacket, but on one of those warmer-ish nights that aren't too, too cold, but cool enough to want to throw on a pair of denim. Yeah, I really like this look. I don't really know what else to say, but I think it came together nicely. I think it looks pretty similar to the photo. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, so this is look number two. This is the Camille Charrière look. Um, I think it's pretty on point as for trying to look the same. The only difference really is the flared denim with the exposed fly and then her shirt isn't uh, printed but it is yellow so I like silky. So I think I did pretty dang good, to be honest. I would probably wear this out to like drinks with friends. I'm gonna take these off because I look totally wild with sunglasses on inside. Um, I would wear this out for drinks for sure, like hang out with some girlfriends or on a date or something. I most likely wouldn't wear this bag because it's impractical. It looks like Kimmy is like on the beach. It's probably where she's like gallivanting through the south of France. It's a very south of France outfit, I would say, going to dinner, where you can like kind of still get away with a beach bag at night as your purse instead of an actual bag. Um, and she has sunglasses on and she looks like all like beachy and freshly tanned, but like still trendy and put together. But yeah, I think this is a cute look. Another look that I would definitely wear Sans the bag. I don't think I would wear this bag with this look. I'd probably wear like, I don't know if I was going out to dinner or drinks, I would most likely wear like a stick of leather shoulder bag. Um, but yeah, this is still kind of a cute look. What do you think of this one? Would you wear this with this? Would you switch it up? Thoughts, feelings? Okay, look three. I knew I was going to love this look. I am absolutely obsessed. I think it came together really nicely. Again, I don't think that if I were to wear this look that I would wear this bag. I don't think that it's completely out of place. I don't know. How do you feel about it? It wouldn't be my top choice, but I also don't know exactly what bag I'd wear with this look, so this works for now. I do think it gives it like, again, like a very kind of like makes it summery because it's kind of beach bag-ish vibe but like I don't know it makes it very like street style for sure docks slick trousers a random sort of casual tank top and a beach bag it seems very out of, out of place in the sections of my closet that it would belong but I think together it looks really cool um, I knew that I would really like this look and I ended up going with the trouser and not the linen pant. I think they look great. They're super comfortable. These cause dress pants. If I can link the exact pant, I will down below. 
They are so comfortable. I can't wait to get some use out of these once it cools down a little bit. I could easily see myself bopping around the city in this look. Love the docks. Love the docks. Such a good thrift store find. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it up above. I just got these at the thrift store, which was such oh, a killer find. I like this look a lot. Do you like the navy and black mixed together? Do you think that that's an odd combo? Would you wear it? Do I look like a bruise? Are we gonna scar me again for life? I don't know. Do we like the bag? What bag would you actually pick with it? Like a shoulder bag, a tote, a clutch? I don't know. Maybe a tote bag. I'd probably wear like a casual tote with this if I were to actually like go on a walk or something wearing this outfit. I don't know if I would go for this. But maybe. I think it looks kind of cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So this is the last look. Uh, probably my least favorite just because of the fit of everything overall. I do like the vibe of it, but again, I know I mentioned before the top just like I knew wouldn't be billowy enough, so it's not really matching kind of like the oversized slouchy casual vibe that I was going for. I don't think it matches with the shorts very much. Um, I don't think I would ever pair these two together. I don't know if it was bigger just like hers was like way more billowy and large and loose. I think it would just look a lot better. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Meh, it's not my favorite. I do like the gladiator sandal beach bag mixed with Kind of more of a dressier button up and trouser type of short. I think the contrast is really interesting. Um, but yeah, again, I, I do just wish that the top was bigger. I think that it would look more like the photo and the vibe would make more sense. I think going with a very oversized button up is still like a contrast within itself of like a way oversized but still kind of a dressier button up. I think it just makes more sense. I think that's what that girl was trying to achieve and she did it and I am not killing it. So this one I give a thumbs down, all the other three thumbs up, but I still like the idea of this look and if I got a bigger shirt I would try it again. And maybe a different short, maybe a short that's not so long. I think her shorts are really small and kind of like tucked under so it made more sense where these are quite long and big. But again, I don't know because I don't have the top. Maybe it would look cool, maybe it wouldn't. Something I have to fiddle around with, but that is why we do these videos. You put together a look, maybe it doesn't quite work, but three out of four is pretty good, I would say, to just pull items out of your closet and make looks come together. So I'm pretty happy with that. This video has honestly made me super happy and I can't wait to make more of these. This will be a really cool and inspiring kind of series for you. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Okay everyone, those are all of the looks. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoyed this video and I will definitely be doing more of these. I already have an idea for another one next week, so stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy this video, remember to hit the like button down below, hit the bell notification so you don't miss an upload, and when I upload this video again, remember to subscribe down below, share the video with your friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!